Thursday, April 22nd. <clears throat> I took the bus, took the Bay County or the Bay Transportation bus to uh, Northwest Florida Surgical Center where I generally go and have my surgical procedures. Uh, being that I am physically uh, limited in mobility, so I need help in getting around. I use a cane uh, around the house, and uh, elsewhere I use what I call my Cadillac walker um, when I have to go a distance. Or leave a apartment. Thursday I was to have a surgical procedure and uh, the Bay County or the Bay Transportation picked me up at 11, around 11, 11 15 to take me to Northwest Florida Surgical Center. <coughs> After the surgical procedure um, the nurses called Bay Transportation to pick me up and that's when an unusual um, undeserved uh, undue incident occurred the driver first um, era I think he made was to pull up on the curve to turn the bus around uh, because he didn't want to take the time to do the right thing. That was the first wrong thing he did because it was two of us on the bus and we both had had uh, some type of surgical procedure. Mine's was in my lower back. At any rate, um, I tried hard not to make a complaint about his driving, but his driving became wild, more wild, and uh, to the point of my unsecured uh, baggage, where I had one shopping bag and one big Nine West pocketbook. He set those pocket, he set the bag and the pocketbook on top of my walker once I uh, got up the ramp and had my seat. He did not secure the baggage, um, nor did he properly secure the walker itself. And uh, I asked him if he could uh, drive a little slower or a little bit more cautious because we had we just had surgery. At any rate, he totally ignored that until the bags, he was driving so wild that the bags fell off the walker and the walker fell over as well. Uh, inside of the shopping bag, the nurse had set my cup of ice that I had and that I generally get after the surgery because it helps helps me to control and manage the pain. So at any rate, uh, the ice uh, in the cup was secure in the bag. In the bag. <clears throat> and if he had secured the bag, we would not have had a wasted uh, cup of ice on the floor of the bus. But at any rate, he became irate, um, very hostile uh, in blaming me for having the uh, cup of ice in the bag rather than him taking the responsibility of not uh, securing the bags nor the walker uh, as he as is part of his job. He racially attacked me um, and said he didn't care if I made a report because he had the right 
wit the right color witness on the bus. The other person on the bus was a white lady. Uh, he proceeded to drive her home rather than me, uh, and he continued to drive wild and crazy. He didn't make any slowdowns or stops on the dirt road where this uh, white female lived. She never said a word, not on the bus, not to me, and not on the bus at all. He, when he drove her home, he got off the bus and he stood there talking with her for a while. And uh, I asked, could he please just take me home? Uh, at that point, I was really hurting and under medication, of course. I needed to do as the doctor had sent me on to do, and that was to go and get complete rest for 24 hours. Uh, his name was Michael Hayes. Uh, I, the way I got through the uh, racial abuse was to call the director of the bus on my cell phone and have him stay on the phone with me talking until uh, they were able to spend another bus to come and get me and take me home where I would be safe. Thank you for listening.